Well, tonight we're learning more about that domestic violence stalking suspect shot by a Spokane police officer Saturday night. Investigators say 20 year old Joseph Hens was driving recklessly through North Spokane before he crashed his stolen vehicle at Montgomery and Post and shots were fired. Hens is in stable condition at a Spokane hospital tonight. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us now live at the jail where he's headed as soon as he's released. Jeff? And Nadine, even though Hens has a bullet hole in him, he is still considered so dangerous that corrections deputies from the jail are actually up at the hospital as we speak, guarding Hens inside his hospital room. Today we learn more about this use of deadly force and why neighbors were so anxious to hand over their surveillance videos, both the police department as well as KXLY. We've all been dumped by a boyfriend or girlfriend before, but rarely does getting jilted involve so many police officers. After Joseph Hentz allegedly broke a couple of domestic violence protection laws, he was spotted by police driving like a madman in this stolen red Chevy. During that hour, the suspect vehicle was reported to be driving erratically, weaving in and out of traffic, and traveling at a high rate of speed. Neighbors were also concerned about Hens's driving as he circled the area where he last saw his girlfriend. We heard the car go by and a couple minutes later we heard gunshots and then we all kind of ran outside and was wondering what was going on. Travis Butler then checked his security camera for some answers. The recording shows Hens zooming by his home at freeway speeds and then he gave copies to KXLY and Spokane Police. I seen this car flying 80, 90 miles an hour down our residential street. We got kids, you know, walking, you know, in the middle of the night. He could have killed anybody. In fact, at one point, Hens was clocked doing it in excess of 100 miles an hour and nearly struck that officer's vehicle. We can still not tell you what Hens allegedly did that warranted this officer's use of deadly force. And we know that at least one of the officers, one of the players in all of this was actually wearing one of those new 17 body cams and aging that's out there during this test program. But unfortunately, that camera was not rolling when the shots were fired. Reporting live at the Spokane County Jail, Jeff Humphrey, KXY4. Oh.